There's a lot going on with this joint. YouTube family, what up though? If you didn't know, I'm DJ Swaver, and this is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now, and make sure you hit the bell button next to the subscribe button, so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Also, if you haven't already, be sure you're giving the kid a follow on all the major social media platforms. On this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a fire Nike retro sneaker that is finally hitting the market here in the US. The sneaker I'm talking about is the midnight colorway of the Nike Air Max Deluxe Retro. The weird thing about this release is that even though it's a retro of a super dope sneaker from back in the day, Nike hasn't really built a lot of hype around this silhouette. And that leads me directly into my question for this video. Has the Air Max line altogether lost its appeal to the masses? And my answer to that question is, Hell yeah, bruh. Besides the pair of Air Max 1s, maybe your Gundam Air Max 98s, or the Sean Walter Spoon 97 1s, what other Nike Air Max sneaker has really garnered any hype? I'll wait. Besides those three, none of them have. The hype for the whole Nike Air Max line is completely gone. To be honest with y'all, the only thing that made that pair of Air Max 91 popping is because it had the word pair on it. I guarantee if the word pair wasn't on that Air Max 1, it'd be sitting on the shelves just like a whole bunch of other Nike Air Max sneakers. Now don't misconstrue what I'm saying, bruh. I said the Nike Air Max line has lost its hype. I didn't say the Nike Air Max line has lost its importance in the sneaker game. The Nike Air Max line is gonna be coveted until the world ends. That's a fact. But just because a sneaker silhouette is coveted doesn't mean people are obligated to check for it, you feel me? I think the main reason the Nike Air Max line has lost hype is because in true Nike form, they put out so many different colorways of so many different Nike Nike Air Max silhouettes at one time. It's simple supply and demand. If you have too much supply of something out on the market, the demand has no choice but to go down. And that's exactly what happened to the Nike Air Max line. There's so many different Nike Air Max silhouettes in so many different colorways on the market right now that the demand for it just doesn't exist. And quite frankly, that's probably the reason why there's absolutely no hype at all around this brand new Nike Air Max Deluxe Retro. But of course, I wanna know what y'all think about the Nike Air Max line. Hit that comment section up right now and let me know your opinion on if you think the Nike Air Max line has completely lost its hype. Let me know if you agree with me and my opinion on the state of the Air Max. Or let me know if you think what I'm saying is complete madness. Hit that comment section up right now and let me know what you feel about this topic. While y'all are hitting the comments, section up let's go ahead and take a look at these dope sneakers before we take a look at these sneakers I gotta give a shout out to my homie Justin Blackman he's a fellow sneakerhead and we have super dope conversations from time to time and he just started a brand new clothing line called Ivy brand clothing the homie gifted me a few brand new tees from his clothing line I happen to be wearing one right now this one I think is just super dope the quality of this tee is crazy bruh I'm gonna throw his Instagram handle and his clothing brand handle up on the screen right now if y'all mess with DJ Swaver and his item and box opening series go give him and his clothing brand a follow right now. I'm super thankful and humble that you thought of DJ Swaver to send me some brand new tees from your brand new clothing line for the free. I don't know how the hell I'm going to repay you, but I guarantee I got you in the future. Now regarding this Nike Air Max Deluxe Retro, there seems to be absolutely no hype surrounding this release. You know there's no hype around a sneaker when you go on the sneakers app and it's not at the top of the screen when the app finally opens. You literally had to scroll down the sneakers app quite a ways to find this sneaker. I don't understand Nike's strategy when it comes to marketing certain releases but honestly I don't care I was able to get my hands on this Nike Air Max Deluxe early we got it right here on this ottoman so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at it right now and this is the Midnight Navy colorway of the brand new Nike Air Max Deluxe Retro. My first reaction to this sneaker now that I have it in my hand is that it has a lot going on. Borderline too much going on. The upper of this sneaker is comprised of a nylon material with this, uh, pfft, how do you even describe this pattern? Like an oil spill pattern? That's the first thought that comes to my mind when I see this pattern. Almost reminds me of when you pour water on top of an oil spill or something and you kind of see that shimmery pattern going through the water. That's what it reminds me of. The colors inside of the patterns on the upper are majority sky blue, uh, bright yellow, and I guess that's like a taupe color. I don't really know what color you would describe it because it doesn't quite match the gold that you find on the midsole. I told you, bro, it's a lot going on in this sneaker. You also have
have a midnight navy plastic paneling going over the toe cabin of the sneaker as well as like a midnight navy colored cage going from the middle portion of the upper all the way to the rear portion of the sneaker i'm not quite sure if that plastic cage is used for support or if it's just for aesthetic purposes inside of that dark navy cage you also have that laser orange nike check that laser orange inside of that navy is so dope to me i feel like you'll be able to see that nike check from a mile away going into the rear portion of the sneaker the ankle wrapping portion of the rear is almost comprised of the same material you would find on a foam posit sneaker it's even in that same super classic eggplant color that you find on foam posits you also have a yellow paneling in that same foam posit material that you find sitting on top of that midnight navy cage the inside of the sneaker completely mirrors the outside you have that same oil light pattern that you find on this nylon upper i really don't know how else you would describe that pattern on the upper but whatever bro you also have that same midnight navy plastic cage going from the middle portion of the upper all the way to the rear portion of the sneaker the sneaker only came with one pair of navy laces but i think those laces go perfectly with the colors of the sneaker the tongue in the sneaker has the same pattern that you found on the majority of the upper it also has a plastic paneling sitting on top of the tongue with the laser orange nike check sitting on top of the plastic i don't know if this video can really show you the difference but the inside of this sneaker is not the normal inside of a sneaker that you would find on a nike air max sneaker the inside of this sneaker is comprised of almost like terry cloth very furry and soft to the touch but i'm telling y'all this right now if you decide to wear white socks with this sneaker you're gonna have cotton balls all inside of this material this material is a lint magnet as you can see the midsole in this sneaker as well as the outsole is exactly the same as you would find on a nike air max 97. the midsole of this sneaker is painted gold while the air unit is the same purple color that you find on the ankle wrapping i will say this though the paint quality on that midsole is straight up garbage i guarantee that gold is gonna flake off with ease bruh the left sneaker completely mirrors this right sneaker so there's no point in me repeating myself and sounding redundant and for the most part that explains this midnight navy colorway of the brand new nike air max deluxe retro on a scale of one to ten i'm giving this sneaker a decent seven am i gonna rock this sneaker with confidence you damn right i am but if i'm being honest there's too much going on in this sneaker for me to give it anything higher than a seven but of course i want to know what y'all think about this sneaker let me know down in the comment section your opinion on this nike air max deluxe retro are you feeling this sneaker are you not feeling it are you looking to get your hands on a pair do you think you're gonna strike out when it releases and you might be needing this video to push you over the edge to buy it on the resale market hit that comment section up right now and let me know your honest opinion on this nike air max deluxe this sneaker retails for 180 bucks and from what i've seen there's absolutely no hype surrounding this release so it shouldn't be hard to get your hands on this sneaker for retail but if you are looking on the resale market to cop this joint i wouldn't pay anything above 200 dollars to be able to get it i think this colorway of the nike air max deluxe is super dope but we already know nike is about to colorway the hell out of this shoe and this is the midnight navy colorway of the brand new nike air max deluxe retro Another dope Air Max sneaker added to the collection. If I was y'all, 
I'd do anything I could to get my hands on this colorway and the next couple of colorways that come out of the Air Max Deluxe. Because we already know that once Nike comes out with a retro sneaker, they're guaranteed to run it straight into the ground. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button for me, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, be sure to hit that bell button next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Once again, I am DJ Swaver. This was another episode of Ottoman Box Openings, and until next time, peace.